hello guys welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so today i'm going to talk about what you mean by test planning or what is a test plan document but before i start this video let me tell you one thing that i have started taking mock interviews so if you want to give your mock interview then please send out your resume to my email id which is hitendravarma22 at gmail.com so i'll provide the email id in the description box of this video as well guys so you can check it out and send out your resume so that i can plan an interview so let's talk about today's topic which is test planning or test plan document so we have already talked about what is testing life cycle so there are different phases in testing life cycle we have requirement analysis test planning test design test execution defect reporting and test closure so these are the different phases of testing life cycle so here you can see test planning is the part of testing life cycle which is most important part of any testing activities so whenever we get the project guys so we'll plan the complete testing activities which is carried out using test planning so until unless if we don't have a proper test plan so we cannot uh, we cannot perform a proper testing and test plan test plan is a document which we carried out all the testing activities as part of test planning so what are the things which we cover as part of test plan right so what are the things are there in the test plan document what are the different sections so there we should specify objective of testing before that uh, introduction of testing right introduction basically introduction introduction about the project and then objective of testing scope of testing uh, so basically we'll we'll discuss about when to test the application what to test and who will test who will test is nothing but the resources when to test the schedule of the testing and what to test like what are the items are there uh, for testing like in scope and out of scope so these are the different sections of test plan guys which we'll discuss in coming slides one by one there are around uh, 15 sections are there in test plan it will be more or less as well depends on the project or company company to company as well so let's talk about uh, first thing like what do you mean by test planning or test plan so let's get it started so initially when we get the project it is responsibly responsibility for a test lead or senior test to prepare the test plan for the project so who will prepare the test plan so it is the responsibility of test lead and senior test engineer senior test tester to prepare the test plan for the project a test plan is foundation of every testing effort so this is most important important uh, step of any testing activities or any testing life cycle like test planning so test plan is the foundation of every testing effort a test plan refers to a detailed document that catalogs the test strategy objectives schedule estimations deadline and the resources required for the completing the particular project so it talks about test strategy right so in in bigger projects we have test strategy document as well which is at company level and test plan talks about the uh, project level so this will basically talks about strategy document basically talks about how to perform the testing like what are the techniques uh, should be to be used for testing activities to perform the testing right and in a small project this is the section of test plan itself so test st strategy is the part of test plan in smaller in small projects so basically i'll create a separate video on test strategy as well and i'll talk about the difference between test plan and test strategy moving forward uh, let's talk about uh, Uh, one more thing like a good test plan clearly defines the testing scope and its boundaries you can use requirements specification document to identify what is included in the scope and what is excluded so in test plan scope should be defined clearly like what are the items should be in scope and what are the features which is not in scope by creating a clear test plan all the team members can follow right and everyone can work together effectively so until un unless if we don't have effective test plan so it is it is very difficult to test any particular application if we don't have proper test plan so the main purpose of test plan is to i mean 
just configure all the activities in test planning right so all the process should be in proper place the steps to prepare the test plan so what are the different steps to prepare the test plan so the first thing is criteria or you can say prerequisite criteria to prepare the test plan so first thing is criteria and then second is prepare the test plan and third is get the approval of the test plan from the test manager once it is done by a senior test member or test lead then it should be approved by the manager or test manager so what are the criteria guys to to prepare the test plan the test lead or senior test should have the below details so development schedule so we should clearly understand like when the development starts for particular project when uh, the developer are starting developers starting the coding of the particular project or particular application so we should clearly know uh, i mean we should understand the development activities and the schedule of the development so that then we can go for the test plan project release date we should know the deadline of the project service to be uh, services to be provided to the customer what are the services we are going to provide to the customer understand the project requirements that is very very much important understanding of the complexity of the project A scope of testing what are the features which are which should be included and which are not to be included that is a scope and out of scope number of resources required so these are the different things guys another thing is type of testing to be conducted what kind of testing which we are going to perform for particular project so these are the different uh, prerequisite criteria to prepare the test plan so until unless if you don't know uh, this criteria then it's very difficult to prepare the test plan the second thing is prepare the test plan how we are going to prepare the test plan so a test plan this is what we have discussed the test plan serves a blueprint to conduct software testing activities as defined process which is minutely monitored and controlled by the test manager so once we define every activities in test plan so that will be monitored by the test manager whether every activities in place or not so that is the purpose of the test plan so this is how we prepare the test plan in the second part and third is get the approval uh, once so there are the, there are three uh, things first one is prerequisite criteria second is prepare the test plan and get the approval the third point now let's talk about what are the different sections in a test plan so test plan document has to uh, has the f has the fall below details right so we have introduction features to be tested that is nothing but in in scope what are the features are in scope feature not to be tested out of scope pass fail criteria and entry exit criteria we, what is the approach of testing what is schedule of testing what are the test factors resources who are uh, what are the resources which we are working for that particular application or project training plans configuration management test deliverables test environment risk and mitigation plan and last one is approval of the test plan so these are the different things as part of test plan guys uh, so let's talk about them uh, one by one in detail so introduction so specify the purpose requirement of the project is nothing but the introduction like f there we'll discuss uh, talk about what is the what is the client name what are the uh, requirement of the project so that is part of introduction features to be tested uh, specify the requirements which need to be tested uh, which are in scope features not to be tested uh, specify the requirement which is out of the scope for testing we do not need to test there is a spelling mistake over here we do not need to test pass fail criteria so i'll provide the notes in the in my blog guys automation testing insider.com do not worry about that all these uh, notes so pass fail criteria so what is the pass fail criteria so there is a section called pass fail criteria or you can say suspension criteria in test plan so if the below criteria is satisfied then we can suspend the build from testing if the build is not deployed so we cannot test the application the sanity test is fail so we cannot go for uh, we cannot go for the further testing if the build is unstable this is another criteria which uh, 
we cannot go for the uh, further testing wrong build is given uh, and there is a note here if the build is suspended the developer have to immediately resolve the issue and give the modified build so these are the pass fail criteria so until unless if this criteria is satisfied then we cannot go for the further testing so this is another section in test plan document guys pass fail criteria or suspension criteria entry and exit criteria so specify the condition to start and stop the testing for every level of testing there is a entry and exit criteria for example so we have different levels of testing we have unit level of testing integration system level and acceptance level now here i have given any example of system level system testing entry criteria so integration testing should be completed all the major defect found in the integration testing uh, test should be fixed the test environment should be ready required access should be provided the development should be completed all coding should be done at this point of time so whenever we get the build for system testing so all these criteria should be satisfied so this is another section in test plan entry and exit criteria now let's talk about this is entry criteria now let's talk about exit criteria all the functionalities are tested no new defects are found no risk in the project all the defects are fixed the testing set schedule are completed so these are the exit criteria so once this these are satisfied then we can go for the further uh, for the testing right once all these criteria are satisfied so this is exit criteria in system testing now approach specify the process followed in the project like what is the approach which we are going to follow for particular project uh, as part of testing activities like what is the plan design execution and reporting so this is the approach of testing should be defined in the test plan schedule specify the testing the testing scheduled are prepared based on development schedule right so it should be based on the development schedule because testing is the part of development activities we have requirement analysis design coding testing release and maintenance so ultimately testing is the part of development schedule so uh, when we talk about uh, schedule so uh, if we talk about the test plan schedule so we have planning uh, kt session design test execution uat review so these are the different tasks correct all the uh, testing life cycle should be uh, listed down here like what are the activities which we are going to perform what are the tasks which we are going to perform like planning of the testing the kt session kt session to, to the resources design the test execution uat reviews so these are the plan dates what is the plan date what is the end date and what is the actual actually started and end date action date you can say action date or actual date and if you have remarks we should put some remarks over here as well so this is important part of test plan schedule now let's talk about another one test factors so identify the test factors required for the project resources this is an uh, important part of test plan resources you specify the list list of team resources and their uh, their responsibilities like testing team development team project managers who is the project manager who is the test lead who are the team members who is the senior team members so all these uh, resources should be defined in the test plan so this is another section guys important section of test plan training plan so specify any training plan is required for the resources okay what are the trainings what are the further skills required for the resources so uh, that should be carried out as part of training plan training sec training plan section in the test plan configuration management so uh, specify to manage all the project related documents coding uh, codes testing documents etc so the so these documents are accessible to all the team members so there uh, should be a repository where we access where we can access all the documents or codes in case of uh, automation testing we should get the codes from github github is another uh, i mean one kind of repository where we keep all the documents we have sharepoint nowadays we are using sharepoint and uh, to keep the codes we have github 
so these are some configuration management tools guys and there are uh, long back we used to have VSS visual source safe we have concurrent version system so the tool provides security version control so what do you mean by version control so each time the documents are updated a new version is created so uh, if you remember we can we have version control version whenever we update the uh, update update our documents so there should be version created let's say this is version 1 there should be version 1.1 1.2 1.3 like this so we can access any of the version anytime that is the main uh, important uh, point of configuration management test deliverables so this is another important section of test plan guys so specify the list of documents to be submitted to the customer during testing phase or after the testing documents are like test plan test case documents, test cases, test execution results, defect report, review report, test summary reports, etc. Et and uh, yeah, so this is another section of test plan. We have one more test environment. I specify the hardware, hardware and software configuration details over here. Hardware configuration details, the additional software required in the test environment to access the application and conduct the testing. So test environment should be specified and this is another section of test plan. What are the risk and mitigation plan? So specify the challenges in the project and the solution to resolve the challenges. So the different risks are required documents are not available, estimations are not correct. Let's say if you don't have requirement like BRD documents, so that is risk. We don't have requirement document from the customer, right? Or from the BA team. So we cannot author the test cases properly estimations are not correct delay in project deliverables lack of skilled resources lack of team coordinations etc so these are the different risks involved in the project so that that should be carried out as part of section called risk and mitigation plan in the test plan document mitigation plan is like how to resolve those risks what is the mitigation plan we have prepared for the uh, different risk involved in the project and the final thing is approval sign off of the test plan document so after preparation of the test plan the project manager and customer have the review and approve the test plan and there is a note guys so during the planning phase it is responsibility of a test lead to recruit the tester based on their skills required for the project so this is very important so whenever we start the project so we should hire the proper uh, we should hire the the skilled resources for the the particular testing activities or particular project so these are the different sections of test plan guys so hope you understand what what do you mean by test plan and what are the different sections of test plan so uh, still if you have any doubts then please write in the comment box and uh, please like this video share it and if you are new to channel then please subscribe it thank you so much for watching have a nice day bye bye